Did you know that there was once a U.S. president who published math research? It was President James Garfield, and he came up with his own brand new proof of the Pythagorean theorem. Remember that the Pythagorean theorem states that given a right triangle, the squares and sum of the shorter two sides is equal to the square of the third side, also notated as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, the way he proved this is take your right triangle and then make another copy of that right triangle in this formation. So you have this side A, and then this goes right into the side B, and then here you have A, and then here you have B. Let us now connect this point and this point here and ask what is the area of this gigantic shape that we have? Well, we have two copies of our original triangle here. So this is two times one half of the base of the triangle, B, times a, which is the height of the triangle, plus this triangle here, which has a height of c and a base of c. So this would be 1 half c squared. Simplifying this out, we see that the area of this shape is equal to b times a plus 1 half c squared. But also notice that this shape is not just a collection of three triangles, but it is also a trapezoid, where this is the top, this is the bottom, and these are the two sides. As such, we can use the formula to find the area of the trapezoid, which is the height of the trapezoid, which in this case is a plus b, so a plus b times the average of the top and the bottom, which is going to be a plus b over 2. Performing some FOIL and simplifying this out, we would see that this formula gives us that the area must be equal to 1 half a squared plus ab plus 1 half b squared. But note that these were just two different ways of finding the area of this shape, but the area should just be the area. So these two formulas actually need to be equal to each other. And if we set these two sides equal to each other, cancel out these a, b terms, and then multiply both sides by 2, we will see that this shows us that a squared plus b squared must be equal to c squared. Thanks, President Garfield.